Hello, my name is Minister M.G. Mays, and this is Faith Revival Place International. Uh, let's start off by praying. Thank you, Father. We come to you in prayer. We thank you, praise you, give you glory, honor, and praise as we talk about um, how holy of a God you are, uh, Yeshua Jesus, and that your revival. And we thank you, praise you, give you glory, honor, and praise in Yeshua Jesus' name. Amen. Today's sermon is Yeshua is Revival, the beginning. So let us start by going to Luke chapter 1, verse 26 through 35. And the Word of God says, In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the city of uh, Gala, Gigo, called Na Nazareth, to the, the virgin engaged to a man named Yosef in the house of David. The virgin name was uh, Miriam. Approaching her, the angel said, Shalom, favor of lady, Adonai is with you. She, she was deeply troubled by his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Miriam, for you have found favor in God. Look, you will become pregnant. You will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Yeshua. He will be great. He will be called the son of Helion, which means... Uh, God most uh, most high God Adonai God will give you the throne of his forefathers David and he will rule the house of Jacob forever there will be no end to his kingdom how can this be asked Miriam of, of the angel since I am a virgin the angel s said to her the Rukhadash, which means the Spirit of God, will come over you. And and the power of Heli, Helion, which is God, uh, most high God, will cover you. Therefore, the holy child born to you will be called the Son of God. You are to uh, relate um, uh, Al Alasha, uh, who is an older woman. And everyone says she is barren, but she has conceived a son and in a six-month pregnancy. For with God, nothing is impossible. Miriam said, I will serve of, of the Most High God, and may it happen to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. So this is basically the, the beginning of the, the structure of how the Lord came to earth, born in the Virgin, Miriam, Mary, and the angel of the Lord, Gabriel, Gabriel, um, ministered and, and birthed through the Holy Spirit, Ruch Kadash. Um, and so now, now we're going to go into his life because... Jesus is revival, and revival is Jesus, Yeshua. So and we're going to see that. We're going to see that the whole motives of Jesus, bringing into Jesus, breathe into Jesus, and and in His Word is when you more into the Lord, revival comes forth because revival is Jesus. The whole purpose of revival is through the Lord. And if you're hungry enough for the Lord, you, you will receive revival in your life because God Himself is revival. And uh, so now, now we're going to go to Matthew chapter one, verse eighteen through twenty-four. Here is 
how the birth of Yeshua the Messiah took place when his mother Miriam was engaged to Yosef before they were married she found to be pregnant by the Rukhadash her husband to be Yosef was a man who did what was right so that the man made, made plans to, to, to break the engagement quietly rather than put to public shame but rather he was thinking about this an angel of Adonai appeared to him in a dream and said Yosef son of David did do not be afraid to take Miriam home with you as your wife for what has been conceived in her is from Arukadash she was given birth to this a son and you are to name him Yeshua which means out of nice saves power of salvation because he will save his people from their sins all all happened to in order to feel what the out of nice had said about the prophet the virgin will conceive and bear a son and they will call him Emmanuel the name means God is with us then Yosef awoke and he did what the angel of Adonai had told him to do. He took Miriam and home to be his wife and he did not have um, relations with her until she gave birth to the son and he, his name was Yeshua. So right there, here's another standpoint of the Lord's birth and a little bit more in the background of both uh, Joseph and Mary, Joseph and Mary, um, but that they both were holy backgrounds. But more importantly, that it, it's the Holy Spirit, uh, spirits conceiving, conceiving the Lord and Savior, the Creator of the Universe, Yeshua. Um, now, now we're going to go more in the deeper backgrounds of these things. We're going to go to uh, John chapter 1, verse 9 through 14. And the Word of God says, This was the true light, which gives light to everyone entering the world. He was in the world. The world came to be through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own homeland, yet his own people did not receive him. But to as many as did receive him, to whom uh, but their trust in the, the person and power and gave the right to become children of God, not because of the bloodline, physically impulses are human, um, but because of God. The word became a human because the living with us and he and we saw his Shekinah the Holy Spirit the Shekinah of the Father his only Son the Holy Spirit full of grace and truth so right there he's the word he's the light and he's revival revival shining on our lives and these three scriptures the background of, of the, his birth and and his prominence of, of who raised raised the Lord God of creation Miriam Mary and Joseph Joseph and this conceived through Father God which Jesus is the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is Jesus conceived through that because Shekinah, every time it talks about in the New Testament, Shekinah is referred to the Holy Spirit. And so right here it's referred, Shekinah is referred also to uh, the Father's um, unquenched Son, which is Yeshua Jesus. So the connection is there. Um, now we're going to go to Mark chapter 7 verse 5 through 7 and 14 and 16 of, the, of that verse as well. Mark 
the Word of God says the pressure and the Torah teachers said, asked him why don't you your Tehim with disciples live in accordance with the traditions of the elders but instead eat with a rich row on clean hands Yeshua said to them uh, Yeshua which is Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you hypocrites as it is written these people honor me with their lips but the hearts are far away from me their worship of me is useless because they teach man-made rules as if they are doctrines so that's something to think about the Lord is saying the, the, the one that is revival Yeshua Jesus is saying right there that that we need to watch what is man-made and what is of God we need, and through the Holy Spirit the sp sparring of the Holy Spirit the Yeshua Jesus Spirit we are led by the Spirit and not by flesh so let us be careful of the traditions of man there's quite a few in, in the church and in Israel and we need to make sure they line up with the Torah to Revelations now we'll go on to um, the, the next thought within this then Yeshua called called the people to him again and said listen to me all you and understand this there is nothing outside of a person which by going into him can make him unclean rather it is the things that come out of the person which makes the person unclean so it's it's the things that you put in your heart your mind and and uh, you know keeping your spirit full of, of God's light and guidance through God's spirit the Holy Spirit um, that's that's what matters the most not not so much Ritual, how to do it, but to still you gotta you gotta be obedient to what God says to watch out for. But the most important thing that makes a person clean or unclean is the the things that come out of them. Uh, do you really love the Lord and the, the the cleansingness of the Word of God and the Holy Spirit motivations? And but but when you go too much in the the things of of made man doctrines that's unclean in the Lord's sight but when you go by what the word says in, in, in general with the Holy Spirit's help leading you, teaching you, guiding you into all things which is Jesus' Spirit, the Holy Spirit when you're guided by those things then then that's what cleanses you is the word and the Holy Spirit and, and the, the good things the word of God says brings you life and life more abundantly and and getting a hold of what who the word is Yeshua and, and the fact he's light and the revival is Yeshua so that should tell everybody there that we should go forth and get as much as, as of the Lord upon our lives flourish in the Lord because if you want revival you're going to get as much as Jesus as possible because Jesus is revival he was a, the walking revival God Almighty in flesh so we, we need to we need to understand how man, powerful that is um, now 16 of this um, is uh, a scripture that was added in there but it, it, it's a something that uh, that is revel, relative so it's put down on the bottom so now I'm going to read um, verse 16 that it's not always in it's it, it's an extract so that means it's not always put but it, it's a lying down on the bottom so we're going to read that anyone who has ears can hear let him hear and that's what it was um, it wasn't a hundred percent definite so that's why they put an extract there 
but I wanted to read that because it's relative to what he's really so we need to hear what the what what Jesus is saying through his Holy Spirit and his word so so we can get that personal revival which is Jesus more and more in our lives so we can be the light the word through, through the who the word is Yeshua and bring revival reviving regenerating uh, renewal to the people's lives so now we're going to go to Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 through uh, 17 So I hope this kind of makes sense that, that that we need to understand if we want revival, we, we want to seek it in the right area, which which is Jesus. God is revival, and revival is God. So let's seek God in all the beauty, the Word, and through the Holy Spirit. Then the, the Spirit led Yeshua up into the wilderness to be tempted by the adversary. After Yeshua had uh, fasted forty days and nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and, and said to him, If you're the Son of God, order these stones become bread. But he answered, The Tanakh says, which is the, the book of prophets, a man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of Adonai. Then the adversary took him to the holy city and set him on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he says, jump, for the Tanakh says he will order his angels to be responsible for you, and they will support you with their hands so that you will not hurt your feet on the stones. Yeshua replied to him, But if it also says, Do not put out an eye your God to the test. Once more the adversary took him up to the summit of a very high mountain, showing him the kingdoms of the earth in all their glory, and said to him, all this I will give you if you will bow down and worship me. Away with you, Satan, Yeshua told him. For the Tanakh says, The worship out and I your God and serve him only. Then the adversary left him alone and the angels came to took care of him. See, so it's, it's all about obedience of God's word and and. Yeshua's spirit, the Holy Spirit, Shekinah. Now we're going to go on. Then Yeshua heard that Yochaman, which is John, had become put in prison. He returned to uh, Galo, but he left Nazareth and, and came to live in uh, Naf, uh, Natchar, a lakeshore town near the border between Zephanin and Naphtali. This uh, happened in order to fulfill that uh, Yeshua, uh, which is Isaiah, the prophet had said, a land, the land of uh, Zemar and the land of Naphtali towards the lake beyond the Yarden, Gila uh, of the Gohim, the people living in darkness. Having seen a great light upon those living in the region, and the shadow of death living uh, light of the dawn. For that time on, Yeshua began proclaiming, Turn from the sins to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. So, there you go. You know, the Lord Himself, the, the one that is reviving Yeshua Jesus, was tempted. And and as as usual, the devil misquotes the word, only qu quotes partial of the thought. 
That's why I keep saying when we read when we read it, let's read the whole thought, let's honor God's word because when the adversary twists the word through not reading the whole thought, that should give us it. The answer right there that we need to honor the whole thought of the word, where where it begins and dents and it, and it ends, and there's another dent. That's the whole thought right there. So let's honor that God's word. You know, this this whole Bible is one big love letter of redemption, all the way from the Torah to to the apostolic book of of Yeshua Jesus Revelations. And so, let's get hungry for Jesus. Let's get hungry for, for the Lord. Let's, let's, let's get as much as we can of our Lord and Savior in our lives. And we think we have enough, let's get some more. Because where, where, where the hunger is for the Lord, revival follows. God is no specter of person. What he did for, for uh, Peter... And Smith Wigglesworth, he'll do for all of us. So if we have the hunger for God's word, through understanding that it's that the revival is Yeshua, Hamashiach, Nehu, God Almighty, Hallelujah. So now let's go to ch chapter five, verse fourteen through twenty. And the word of God says, You are the light uh, for the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Likewise, when the peoples light a lamp, they don't cover it with the bowl, but puts it on the lampstand, so that it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before people, so that they may see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. And we go on. Don't think that I have come to abolish the Torah or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but complete. Yes indeed I tell you that until heaven and earth pass away not so much a yar or a stroke will pass from the Torah. Not until everything that must happen happens. So whoever disobeys the least of these mitzvahs, the holy ruins, and teachings, other to do so will be called the least of the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys them and so teachers will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For tell, for I tell you, unless the righteousness is, is far greater than of the Torah teachers and the, the presence, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. So, right, right there, the Lord is showing us the vileness of of the Old Testament. There's a problem in the churches. They think the Old Testament is not relative. It is. Because the Lord's saying it is right there. But he's saying do not go in a religious manner that the Torah teachers of that day went by. Go by the fact that of what the Spirit of God shows you in the Old Testament and the New Testament. The complete Bible. The two witnesses that, that yearn the facts of of how great of a God we are. The two the two uh, menorahs that feed the two olive trees, which is the the believers and the born again Jews. To feed that the 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 old and the New Testament are the menorahs that are described in Revelation. The two olive branches as the the uh, born again believers that get born again and the born again believers and the, uh, of the Jewish faith as well. And this is so exciting when you understand the practicality and then you look at the world the way we live in now 
and you understand that the responsibility is great but you can do it only through the Holy Spirit Yeshua Spirit now let's go on shall we we're going to go to uh, Psalms 119 verse 97 all the way to 112 And it's Luna do Mem and Nom in, in the Hebrew alphabet of, of Psalms 119. So let us start reading. How I love your Torah and meditate on it all day. I am wiser than my foes because your mitzvah, holy ruins, are mine forever. I have more understanding all, than all my teachers. Because I meditate on your instructions. I understand more than my elders because I keep your precepts. I keep my feet from every evil way in order to observe your word. Word meaning Yeshua HaMashiach. I don't turn away from your rulings because you have instructed me how sweet to my tongue is your promises. Truly sweeter than honey in my mouth. From the precepts I gain understanding. This is why I hate every false way. And now we're going to do um, the, the next. You, your word is, is a lamp for my feet and a light of my, my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it. That I will observe your righteous rulings. I am very much distressed out and I give me life in keeping your word. Please accept my mouth's voluntary offering out and I and teach me your rulings. I am continuously taking my life in my hands, yet I, I ha haven't forgotten your Torah, good, which means good teachings. The wicked have set a trap for me, yet I haven't strayed from your precepts. I take your instructions as permanent heritage, because it is a joy to my heart. I have resolved to obey your laws forever at every step of the way. Praise the Lord. So you can see you can see that that we need to get in depth in, in who God is and we need to understand that if we are hungry for revival we should be even more hungry for God because God is revival and revival is God Yeshua HaMashiach Elenehu you know Yeshua the Lord the Messiah the God of all creation praise God creation Hallelujah. I knew who the God of creation. So let's get excited. The world is a hard place right now. It's hard because we're at the end of the age. Not the end of times this alone, but the end of age. The end of what age? A lot a lot of the, the church has this tradition that the grace of age. No. The age of sin has to stop the age of sin the grace was there there was the grace for for the God's people from from the day that Adam Eve sh came short of the glory of God till now but also there's a sin factor in the world that needs to be dealt with the end of that age has to be dealt with and it and that's where we're at we're at the end of the age of sin being dealt with and a new age starting, the age of the Messiah ruling and reigning on this earth for that thousand years. That, uh, that Ezekiel, Daniel hits on it, and Revelation, and other uh, portions of the Old Testament, and also the epistles of Paul hits on it. And even Peter, the, uh, uh, the second lettering of Peter, hits on that as well. So we need to be excited about 
God himself. God, we need to be excited about Elihinu, the God of creation. We need to be excited about Elihinu, Yahshua. The God of creation, the power of salvation. Yeshua Jesus. And we need to be excited about the Lord. We need to be put our time in with the Lord. We need to we need to examine our lives and, and and lay it before the cross of Calvary and say, Here we are, take us, O Lord. May may we be a vessel of honor for you to use, rather to be one day to sweep or the next day to preach to the masses or or anything in between, praise the Lord. That we need to be honest with ourselves and if there's something in us we need to take it to the to who the star of David is and that's Yeshua God himself Elihu the God of creation we need to understand that he's the star and he's the one that suffered on the cross for all we need to understand that it's through him that we have life and life more abundantly and the personal revival follows the man or woman that seeks after the Lord passionately, seeks after the things of the Lord, God of the creation, Elanehu Yeshua, God of creation, the power of salvation. We seek after the our Savior and Lord, Yeshua Jesus. Praise God. And we seek after Him and all His ways. And the beginning starts in our lives. A new freshness happens when we do these things. When we're not ashamed of the gospel of truth. When we got everybody around you and they start doing rack on you. And you'd say, no, I won't go into their, their rackedness. I'm going to go with what the Torah to Revelation says. And the, the light, shine the light into to that darkness even greater. Because the time is short. Just like Jesus told his, tell him, the disciples, can you care with me another hour? The Lord says, can you care with me one more hour? Then the Lord will break through the clouds of glory. And then the, the gnashing of teeth of the, of the unrighteous and, and the lukewarm. And what else? say why did we do these things well and and then the righteous say yes thank God and at last we're finally liberated from the, the the age of sin and to the age of gloriness of our Lord and Savior Elanehu Yeshua the God of creation the power of salvation praise the Lord and we understand that he's there He's representing us in the darkest times and the lightest times. He's there when we're in the deepest areas and to the brightest areas. The Lord is there for the righteous man or woman that draws the line in the sands and says, I will not go any further right or left, straight forward or back. I will follow my Messiah to the end. So my question to you, are you going to follow the Messiah, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Elanehu, to the end? Jesus Christ, are you going to follow him to the end? Are you going to be found unworthy when he comes to get us, to, to present us to his father, Elanehu, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Elanai, our Adonai, our father Elanai, are you going to understand that he's our father and our our bride, our, 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 our everything? He is the breath of life that breathes to us. Are you going to accept the inheritance of Jesus Christ of Ephesians 1? Are you going to be the f false virgins that didn't have full of, of God's spirit? Are you going to be the ones that are... When the Lord comes back, and He, are you going to be the ones that are not going to see the truth, that the truth can set you free? Are you going to go for false gods, like a president or a king or queen or a prime minister? Are you going to seek the Lord, God of creation? God is a jealous God. There will not be no other gods but Him. There, anything else is false. 
He's the one true God. And through him, he spells a great family that he wants to call his own. But if you do foolishness, how can he call part of his own when you want to be part of the world still? Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Return, O oh, oh church. Return, O oh Israel, for the time of the kingdom of God is at hand. The end of the age of sin is the book is going to close and going to be wiped away. And a new age of, of the Messiah is rolling rain down here. The age of the Antichrist age is going to end soon. Very soon, very soon the king of glory will break through. And he will deal with all these Antichrist leaders. From Barack Hussein Obama to Putin to the, the meanest guy that the, has ever walked the earth. Is Muhammad Mercy that should be in prison for the, ever. What he's done to the people. Down to the, that, all those Liberians. That, that sit there and they, 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 they lie and cheat and steal their people over there. Woe to all these leaders from Europe to Asia to North America to South America to every corner. We need to be set apart from all this, this evil leadership, Antichrist, Babylon system. Depart from these things. That's what Revelation says, depart from this system. You're not supposed to be of the system of the world, but the system of heaven. You're supposed to be heavenly citizens of the Most High God. Have we forgotten this? Having you understand. That's why you read the Bible. You understand by reading the word. By breathing in the, the spirit of Yeshua, the Holy Spirit. When you breathe, breathe life. Breathe life. Breathe life in your people, O Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Yeshua. Breathe life in your people, I pray. Breathe life, O oh my Creator, the Creator of the universe, Jesus. Breathe life into your people. Bring life back into them. As they yield, I pray that the blessings will flow through them. It's time to be witnesses of the truth of the Word of God. Now, I like to pray for all those that would like to get saved or re-saved or just proclaim their place. And I, I ask all of you to repeat this prayer now. Dear God, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior of my life. Love you, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. Now, I I ask the Kadosh, the holiness, to be around you, in and in and out of you. Just like Ephesians three and four talk about. I thank you, Lord, that your that your shalom, the wholeness of your word, that brings us to the peace that passes all understanding, God Almighty Himself, be added unto you. And I thank you, Lord, that they will seek the kingdom of, of heaven, seek the kingdoms of truth in the word of God, and then these things will all be ministered unto them. I thank you, Father God, that revival is, is in you, Yeshua Jesus. And I, and I bless you on the Most High God, Halion, Elihenu, Yeshua. Be blessed. Be full of God's mercies and glories and go forth as his witnesses to, to all throughout the land. Blessings. Shalom.